All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm talking about the pros and the cons of belt squats. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. And I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. So just in case you're not familiar, what is a belt squat? A belt squat is a machine where you put a belt around your waist, like the name implies, you have nothing on your back, your hands are free, and the weight is pulling you downward. So it's pulling from your hips rather than putting pressure on your spine. So it's not like a traditional front squat, back squat, uh, zercher squat. It's not going to put pressure on your spine and it's not gonna compress your spine. In fact, it's gonna do the opposite. It's gonna kind of pull down on your pelvis a little bit and give you spinal relief. And the weight is distributed around your hips as opposed to your entire body. It puts less strain on your low back and more on your actual lower body. So what are the pros of a belt squat machine? Number one, I already mentioned it, is gonna be the low back relief. So one of the biggest advantages of the belt squat machine is that it removes the load from your spine. And for people with low back issues, this can be crucial with still giving your legs the adequate stimulus you may need without the additional stress on your lower back. I was actually watching a video the other day about Rob Gronkowski talking about how he had a low back injury when he was like 19 or 20 before even getting in the NFL. So his whole NFL career, he pretty much just belt squatted instead of doing heavy back squats. Now, is that gonna be feasible for most people? No, this is an NFL athlete we're talking about here. However, you can bridge the gap with this machine if back squats kill your recovery or you just feel beat up after them. This is a good way to kind of mitigate your recovery. Benefit number two, it's still going to build leg strength. Just because a squat is a squat, if you get strong at belt squatting, your lower body is still going to experience those hypertrophy and strength gains. It's great for injury rehab. So let's say you're someone that can do squats, but right now you're going through something. Maybe your shoulder flexibility is not on point because you injured your shoulder, um, knees, anything. You just can't do the traditional back squat, but you don't want your leg strength going the opposite direction. You don't want your hy leg hypertrophy and muscle size to go in the opposite direction. So what do you do? plug in the belt squat. Number four, it's a very versatile machine. You can do rows, you can do curls, you can do shoulder variations, you can do neck, you can do split squats, lunges, all types of things. But one of the main benefits is you can alter your squat form in order to emphasize different muscle groups. For example, if you are more upright squatter, you can hold on to something and really let your knees travel forward. If you're more of a hip dominant squatter, once again, you can kind of hold on to something for balance and emphasize moving your hips backwards. You can go wide, you can go narrow, you can do so many different things. It's a very versatile machine. And number five, it's great for beginners. Beginners suck at squatting. Their structural integrity, their motor pattern, everything is all out of whack. So why not remove balancing the barbell from the equation. Get the legs strong first as they build that coordination and then they can move to barbell squats. When I start someone off squatting, it's never with a bar on their back, ever. It's normally a goblet squat because it's much easier to hold a weight here than hold a weight here. It just is, I don't know why. It just takes less coordination and muscle awareness. Now let's talk about the cons of belt squats. Number one is gonna be the availability. It's a shame, but not every gym has a belt squat. And not every, let's say, makeshift version of a belt squat will suffice. I came up with a pretty decent substitute for the belt squat. It takes a little bit of jigging of equipment. It's my highest viewed video. Check it out, maybe it'll work for you. Number two, it has less full body engagement. You always hear about squats and deadlifts, they're full body exercises because when you have a barbell on your back, you're engaging everything, your back, your core, your delts to an extent, your, your chest, your upper back, low back, and then everything in your lower body. That's not gonna happen with a belt squat. It is strictly a lower body exercise. Now this point could be good or bad, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If you've already squatted for that day and you just need extra volume for your lower body muscles, doing more squats might not be the answer. Plugging in some belt squats, for three to four sets, 12 to 15 reps, that might do the trick. Depending on what model you get, it can be pretty expensive for a home gym. And it can have a pretty big footprint. If you're someone like myself, 
that doesn't have unlimited space in their basement or garage, you're not gonna wanna get one of these huge models. I have just a belt squat lever arm that I like using. I find it's really practical for home gyms, but some of the models can be pretty expensive. Number four, it can have somewhat limited carryover to other lifts, but you can say that about anything. A leg press has a use. Leg curls have a use. Glue hand raises, Nordics. So if belt squat fit your goals at the time, use the belt squat. And depending, once again, on what model you have, the loading capabilities might be an issue for advanced lifters. The really expensive models are not. You can load up almost 700, 800 pounds from what I've seen. Less expensive models, you really can't. So you're gonna have to treat it as accessory, not a main movement. So there you have it. That's the pros and the cons of the belt squat machine. I think it's a fantastic tool. And if you're looking to maybe like protect your lower back, rehab from injury, just get some additional squatting and lower body volume in there, I think it's a great exercise and a great machine to have available to you. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And as always, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.